Yo 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 Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Ruby and welcome to my channel here we talk about language learning and I basically just share my language journey with you guys and any resources that I have been using to learn my languages sharing my progress and anything language related and mindset related and yeah that's pretty much my channel so if you're into that kind of stuff then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to turn on the bell notification and yeah it, it it's appreciated <laughs> but today i'm going to share with you guys german resources i have been using to learn german that have been very helpful to me and i'm going to start with first sharing some books that i purchased that i have never seen mentioned in any youtube video about german learning um maybe it has been mentioned but i've just never encountered such a video where i've seen these books and then i'm going to share some of the books i found from other youtubers that they recommended that oh excuse me oh that i also got so i can get my german learning going and i'm going to share some of the resources i've also used online that are free resources that you can also use and yeah so without further ado, let's jump into the study material. So the first book I'm going to share with you guys is this one. It is a beginner German book as you can see right here. It is an A1 level book and I have all of these books. These are all the books I got. Like there's A2, B1, B2 and yeah, I, I know some of you guys are probably like, but ruby like you're not even a b1 level oh uh, <laughs> maybe right here in the physical world i'm not a b1 level but in my mind i'm already a freaking b2 level all right you guys so don't judge me i i just have it because i already know it's it's done you know but anyways i want to share with you guys these books because they're very cool i love them because it's well there's the short stories and i think they're really cute stories and then you also have vocabulary words here next to like the english translation of vocabulary words let's see if you can see that hopefully you can see that <laughs> and on top of that like after each little short story they're also like um grammar explanations for certain things like cases and articles uh prepositions and all that so let me show you Yeah, and I really like these books. By the way, they're by Daniela Fries, and I think it's a great book, a great resource, especially if you're into grammar, but you don't like reading those like heavy grammar filled books where like the pages look boring and all that. I think this is a great book because like in each story you have like the little story and then like she provides like grammar points and pulls out examples from the story. So it helps like really makes sense of what you're reading and honestly just reading in general even if you don't understand it just the repetition of reading is super helpful because i feel like intuitively you start picking up on like these structures in just any language because honestly when i first started german i did start mostly focusing on the grammar which wasn't great because then when people would talk to me i was just like huh so definitely don't start with the grammar but when you actually start like learning words and like uh, verbs and all that and you just start reading like it's cool because you start making sense of things and then intuitively you start picking up on these like grammar structures and then when you do actually read points like oh now I see like now it makes sense it just clicks even more so anyways that was just like a little like I guess experience type of thing not really about the book I mean it is about the book because like it, it again it helps like just further make sense out of what you're reading but yeah um I just recommend these books are very helpful and cute and yeah I, I think they're great resources um, in like reading and further breaking down like the grammar for you and just learning new words and yeah so if you have it I will link these books right below in the description box I don't get any cut of this alright you guys so um, I just want to provide resources that hopefully can be of service to you on your German learning journey so I kind of thought about that because sometimes you guys I feel like I can't even speak in English but anyways let's go to the next material so these next two books are actually books I discovered thanks to Abigail from Polyglot Progress she recommended them so I got this little German phrase book and dictionary I think it's cute because you kind of like 
learn handy uh, phrases that you can use like when you travel to Germany and I'm going to Germany next year so it'll definitely help but I, I you know I'm hopeful that my German will be good and conversational by then um, and on top of this book I also got this manga book Sailor Moon and Joymin <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you guys like, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but growing up, I watched Sailor Moon, so I love Sailor Moon. And you know, I'm actually more surprised that when I was looking for like manga, manga, oh my god, I can't speak. When I was looking for manga in Japanese, I had a hard time, but finding this manga in German, it was like no problem. I'm just like, I don't know, but I felt like I got this book. I still haven't read it because I don't think my German is still at that level, but um. Yeah, I forgot to show you guys like this little book right here. Yeah, like just like a dictionary. Uh, what is this? <laughs> the dictionary. I'm trying to like pull up the page. Uh, little sections of like health, practicalities, and all that good jazz. So yeah, this next book I discovered because of Elise from Elise Speaks. I love her channel, I love her videos. I love all these people I talk about, I love their videos. So I always watch it, especially when I don't feel like inspired to study or something. I like watch their videos and then like I'm just inspired to study again. But yeah, I got this book thanks to her recommendation. I haven't really gone into it deeply. Just let me show you guys right there. I haven't gotten into it deeply. And I think this is a different edition from the one that she showed in her video, but I think it's a great resource again, like when you read and then when you start studying the grammar and just having these like practice exercises you can do, whether on your own or with like a tutor or teacher or whatever you do or whoever you work with, I, I think it's a great resource. Again, I haven't gone into it very deeply, um, but from the little that I have, it, it does seem like it's very well organized. So I would definitely, recommend this so thank you if you guys even watch this hopefully you do thank you polyglot progress abigail and um elise so okay so this other book that i've used this is a beginner german book and it is completely in german and you're probably like why the why the hell would he get a freaking german book when he don't even understand the language well first of all i understand a lot more of the language than i did when i first started so i got this you know more down the line and i did take like a few italki lessons from like the instructor that recommended this book and it it's helpful it's very helpful it's all in german and one of the resources that i will just mention now like if you do consider getting this book but you're like i don't understand german um there's reversal reversal.net you can just like that's what i do like sometimes like if i see a word i don't know i'll just put in the translating section and I, I learned new words and you know, that's how I get my understanding going. Um, and yeah, this is a great book. Like when it comes to vocabulary, I've acquired pretty good vocabulary just from watching videos online, um, reading and all that stuff. But I like this book because there's like also a lot of words like from everyday type of things like around your house and all that type of stuff. Just like in the, um, in the Daniela Fry's book, there's like a lot of home type of things and just like vocabulary of daily use and such. And I like it because it also has like the article, like if it's masculine, feminine or neuter, which is good because like when you, when you start German, definitely learn like the gender of each word. Like if it's yeah, masculine, feminine or neuter, it'll definitely come a long way because when it comes to the cases like yeah, you just need to know what they are, what each word is. And um, yeah, German, a lot of the things don't make sense. So you just have to learn it by heart. But there are certain rules. I, I just haven't really memorized it or learned it by heart because I don't know. I've just been a little lazy in that respect. But oh, bear with me. I'm doing my best. But yeah, this is a great book. Um, again, you can use Reverso if you decide to get this book. I would definitely recommend this book when you already have more knowledge of the German language because that way it won't be super overwhelming if you just like have zero experience with German and then you just get this book and then you're just like what the hell is this so <laughs> definitely like if you decide to get this book get it um have that knowledge before you jump into this because 
it might be a little too overwhelming if you just go from the get-go so now on some of the online resources well this one isn't free i don't think it is or maybe it is i'm not sure but i have mentioned mango uh, mango languages you can learn phrases i did start with mango when i was just like dabbling in german um now i don't really use it but you know if you just want to learn some phrases or like you know slowly get yourself into german you can try that or any other language for that matter and then there's also german.net which is a great free resource online free i told you free and that one's cool because there are a lot of like stories right there beginner stories just like different levels of stories and then like you can learn new words and it's super helpful um I definitely still use it just to practice reading and acquire any vocabulary and all that good stuff. And yes, as I mentioned, Reversal, if you're not familiar with Reversal, that one's good for translation, learning any grammar points. And I really love it personally, mostly like for the translation and also the verbs, because there you can like learn the verbs from their different tenses, the present, near future. Um, I, I can't even remember all these all these different tenses, but you can, basically all the tenses are there for each verb, and that's what I love about it, because literally you can learn the, learn it there for free and just like write it down. And yeah, I, I kind of have my own system. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I'll show you guys my system of how I go about like learning all these verbs without overwhelming myself and trying to like memorize it all. Because I don't I don't memorize. I really learn it by heart and that's how it should be because this isn't some like exam that you're cramming for this is like real life you want to learn because you eventually want to be able to like go to the country or just talk with people so really learn it by heart now the other two free resources that i use on youtube before like using the books that i will admit yeah that's why i haven't really used the like the german grammar book and all that because i've been using mostly like these youtube videos like the first one that i started with was from a channel called Learn German. And that one was cool, but, uh, was it? Uh, it was okay, like I learned words, I learned some of the basic rules about the different cases, but I still felt like there was like a lot missing. So then I experimented with a different channel and this one has to be by far my favorite channel just because I haven't really watched any other channel after I went to this channel. And this one is called Your... I'm sorry if you hear a plane or yeah, plane. We're just gonna keep talking. I paused and it's still going. Hopefully you guys don't hear it. But anyways, the channel that I really love that I feel that I've learned so much is called Your German Teacher. He has all these like different playlists of different levels, whatever level you are, uh, like A1.1, A2.2 grammar, and then A1.1 vocabulary, and like B1.1. Like, you know, he has it really broken down into like sections and just like all these videos that you can refer to. And honestly, a lot of the things that I felt that was missing that I feel that I didn't really learn from Learn German, I feel that I acquired through this channel so if you're someone who wants to start first like watching videos and just like learning without having to purchase books definitely 100% recommend learn um your German teacher oh my god learn German and like I said it's not bad like you still learn a lot but I personally love your German teacher I still watch uh, their videos right there because it's um two guys that teach him mostly this one guy I forgot his name uh, Lutzi I think it's his name Lutzi it's mostly him teaching and I don't know I love it and he always adds like a bonus tip at the end of each video so it's fun I learned so much and of course don't just watch the videos take notes like I take notes maybe like I said maybe I'll show you guys like make a video showing you guys like my notes how I take notes um how I learn verbs and all that and yeah now the last one and this is a free resource so you can like practice like your German your writing your speaking is of course hello talk guys I gotta tell you hello talk is great I've made so many amazing German friends and like it's just so cool because now I'm like we're just talking about like next year when I go to Germany we're gonna meet that's what I love about like language learning how like it gives you the opportunity to connect with people from around the world and make these amazing friendships and I just feel really grateful because I tried for example Tandem because I know that's another language learning app but my experience hasn't been the best with that one because I feel like most of the people that I try talking with they would never correct me and a lot of them uh, and a lot of them were mostly like guys just trying to flirt with me. That's not to say that it's 
did it happen in Hello Talk? But my experience there is definitely more different in the, in the way that a lot of people that I've met on Hello Talk are very serious. They are serious about their own language learning and they're also serious about helping you improve in your language, which is awesome. And that's why I love Hello Talk and would recommend it. There's so many people that I have met on there and we've talked through Zoom and we practice our languages together and they always correct me. So definitely try Hello Talk. It's a great way to make friends and to improve your language learning. And my German friends are so nice because I know my German isn't perfect at all but they're always like oh my god your German is so good I'm just like thank you so much you're so nice but let's be real it's not that great <laughs> but it's a process you guys you know so be patient with yourself and I'm proud of myself honestly because with like in six months you guys I've managed to achieve so much on my own right like I did take a few lessons like four or like four or five lessons for German but I'm gonna tell you those lessons I feel in a way was kind of like not the best investment because literally I, I did get tested to see like what my level was in German and like I was like oh like the teacher was like you have a good level but then like she kind of just took me through the beginner of like you know introducing yourself and stuff and I'm like what like I already know this stuff so it kind of felt like a little bit like a waste of money but I try not to see it that way because it's like it's good because like I got to practice it more I got to further like internalize these like this material and yeah that's how I I'm doing my best to like see it because like everything helps you know and the more you do it the better it gets right so like overall I'm proud of myself and I'm super grateful for the amazing people that I've encountered and for the amazing resources I've been able to find. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found um, value in this video. Let me know if you guys are familiar with any of these resources that I've mentioned in the comments below. And let me know what languages you guys are also studying. I always want to know, like I always say this and it's because I really want to know. Like I know at some point I want to learn more languages. so. But yeah, right now I'm focusing on German and French, as you guys know. And let me know if you guys would like to see like a study vlog or something. I'm thinking about just going live and just filming it. That would be for my laptop because honestly, I'm not super tech savvy. Um, I don't know how people make it look professional online. And I'm doing my best, you guys. So I really appreciate your support. If you did end up liking this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos each week. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one.